Hi, on the second part of our show, we're going to talk more about what a family is looking for in an environment to live in and in the house. So not talking about particular companies, but we're talking about what is it that a family is looking for. Now, to be able to buy a house for between four and a half and five and a half million, which is the aspiration of a lot of Filipino families, what is it that they can afford to buy? How can they get the money to buy that? And what is it that they're really, really looking for in a house? So with us now we have Danica Myra from DDC Land who actually fronts all those questions. Because when people first phone, they look at the brochure, they look at the house, they then look at what is it that we're looking for for our family. And Danica gets all these questions. So Danica, what is it that a, that a family is typically looking for in a house? Uh, firstly, uh, if you were having a family of four or five, mm -hmm. usually they are... Um, asking about if it is durable, if it is accessible, mm -hmm. and especially if the, the vicinity is um, environmental friendly. Okay. And typically, what is the age group of the people who could afford to buy a house between four and five and a half million, for example? What is the age group, the mother and father? Uh, usually like 30 to 40 years old, when they start to build a family. Okay. So then they're looking for very specific things. What are the specific environments, area that they're looking for in a house? What is it specifically they're looking for for their family? Um, they are really preferable if the location is near schools or right. malls, mm -hmm. and especially um, with the environment around and with the security, it should be secured. And in DDC land, mm -hmm. our community is very secure since we have uh, 10 meter electrical fences mm -hmm. around the community. And security guards yes, as well, right? Yes. Do the security guards also move around the area at night? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's very important. Yeah. A lot of your clients are OFWs, higher paid OFWs, like engineers or maritime people, right? So a lot of the time, they're obviously not there. So their wife is at home, right? Yeah. Typically it's the wife. Yes. And two children, three children, depending on the family, right? Yes. So they need to know that their loved ones are safe when they're away, yeah. right? So you have, as you say, in your place, you have an electric fence, yes, security electric. guards. Mm -hmm. Good lighting? You have good lighting as well? Yes, sir. All you right. have a very good lighting. And um, if they want to travel to the school or to the shopping center, they can get a UV Express or a bus outside of the, uh, the village? Yes, sir, because um, when you just step out on the village, it has a lot of um, UV Express around the vicinity, so okay. you can just go and ride. How about pickup buses for schools and things? Do you have that as well? Do you like La Salle or, or which other, other schools you have there? Will they pick up the students from, the, from, the, from your village? Yes, sir, for the, if they have the... If the school has school buses, yes. because the North Dasma Garden Villas yes. is very near the La Salle Das Marinas. Yes, I noticed that. Yeah. Yes. Do you also have your own bus to take people into Das Marinas, or do you have your own shuttle service? Yes, sir, we have. So if uh, the family or if the wife wanted to avail a house and yes. look at first before availing it, yes. and then we can set an appointment to do that, and right. then we, uh, we teach people from a certain area. Yeah, okay. So pretend I'm a maritime captain, a Filipino maritime captain. I'm looking, I'm here with my wife, my three kids. I'm coming to see you, Danica. Yeah. Now, I'm walking into your house. I want to look at your show house. What is it about your show house, your house, that will impress me as opposed to all the other big companies that are around that I can look at their houses? What is it that will impress me more about your house than the other houses that are available. Oh, when you first uh, see our model house, you can really see uh, you can really see to it that it is very durable. Since our walls is uh, precast walls, so in Filipino terms, it, it is buhos. Mm -hmm. And then with regards with the glasses that been used for the houses, yes. it's tempered glass. Right. So. What does the buhos mean to me? So you say it's buhos. The other one is hollow block, I think, isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. So buhos means what to me as a customer? Uh, buhos really um, has the quality of the walls, which can last it like for several years, like hundreds of years. How about it is a calamity proof? Uh, walls. How about ants or what they call those things? The the things that eat through yes. concrete. There's something 
Termites? Yeah, termites. Is it termite proof? Yes, sir. That's very important yes. because there's termites everywhere. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay. So, therefore, at least the walls will stand. Yes. Tell me some other quality issues that I should look at. And also our roofing. It yes. um, consists of a three sheeting. So, it is GI sheeting, the stone coated material, and it is for we have the insulation material that's been used for the roofing. Yeah. So, for that thing, it is a soundproof especially when it rains right and also it is a calamity proof because it's a very strong roof so it cannot be blown away during yes. typhoons yes yes okay. all right how about does it help me reduce the cost of my air conditioning because it's insulated yes sir it does it, yes it so does. i can save money on my electric bills as well of course sir. okay yeah. that's very good how about the windows if things happen to the windows like people try to throw bricks and stones at the window i'm not saying that will happen in your subdivision but yeah is it is the glass proof is it sort of safety glass so that if the kids play and they break it it doesn't cut them or anything like that is yes it? because so of the tempered glass um we use tempered glass for the and tempered glass means what it means it like shatters like a car like yeah. in an accident yes sir. so it doesn't have long nasty yeah. uh, she, uh, bits of glass that can mm -hmm. cut you okay that's very very good and downstairs and, and my wife's looking at your kitchen right what will impress her about the kitchen? So our kitchen is, um, since Filipinos really yes. love cooking, yes. and then also the wives, is, that's the favorite thing. Mm. So we have our kitchen um, bigger. Yes. So we have three, actually, we have three uh, designs that you can choose from. So it's, it's a free if, if ever you wanted to buy a house. Okay, so most families live in the kitchen for most of the week, yes, right? Yes, sir. They only go upstairs to sleep or to do their homework or to do TV. But normally when they're together, they're in the kitchen area, dining room area, yeah. right? So that's very important. How about when the, the wife, my wife wants to, let's say, uh, wash, wash clothing? Is, a good, is it, is it a, a good area for her to do that? Is there lots of facilities for that? Yes, sir. We, ha we also have allotted uh, a space for the laundry area. Mm -hmm. So they, they can wash clothes there and then they can hang Mm -hmm. in the back of the the house okay and other housing how other housing um, communities don't have that or is it more expensive where they have it so again what is the benefit if i look at your house and i want to buy your house what is it that company abc that are building around you do not have all those the, the quality of the the concrete the window and the insulation is it safe to say that the other companies don't have this? Um, I can ensure that it is a very based on the quality, right. built with the quality. That's the other. That's the main thing that we that the DDC land has its norms. So. Um, so the concrete, the buhos, you call it. Other houses are not built with buhos in the other facilities. Do they have buhos, or is it all hollow block? Maybe some of the expensive ones. Yes. So what you're saying is the other housing villages may have buhos, but you're talking double the price of yours to get the buhos. Is yes. that about right? Yes, because so we have um, we have the equipment. DDC land has has its own equipment to do the buhos. Okay. Yes. So therefore, you're building a 10 million peso house for four and a half million pesos. Yes, sir. So 10 million is out of the reach of most people. Mm -hmm. Four and a half is the aspiration yes. of people to aspire to reach that house because it's affordable if you're an engineer on a ship or if you're a vice captain or you have a, a senior position within a shipping company or you're an engineer in Qatar yeah. or something like that you can afford a house at four and a half million five million but it's tough to say can I go for ten million yeah. right it's tough so we, so really that's what you're offering you're offering a ten million house for half the price yes sir. right with the quality yeah. and the community so you're, you have 22 houses sold now in the, in the North Diaspora place, right? Out of a total of 136. Yes, sir. That's good. So the kids can play football, soccer, yeah. whatever we call it, basketball as well. Yes. And they can go swimming. Yeah. They can have social functions, but that's not really you. That's the association that organizes all that, I guess, right? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> talk, tell me something about your newer projects. There's one in BF Homes and one at Tagaytay. Right? We but they're different types of, the same type of housing, who was, yes. and tempered glass and the insulation, the roofs, right? Yes, all, all of our uh, houses is mm. built with buhos, okay. so they're very durable. Okay. 
So if I say, where do I see DDC land in 10 years' time? Where will you be in 10 years' time? We'll be uh, still building homes for the lives of people. Are there any plans of DDC land to move to, say, I don't know, uh, Clark or other Davao or Cebu? Have you, uh, do you know whether your, your bosses have looked at those areas as well going forward? Yeah, we always uh, look for mind. possibilities, yes. All right, that's good. And, um, you know, I like the fact that, you know, the big guys are getting so big and there's so much building going on. I mean, I hope that those, the housing developments that are there will actually have people in them. Because when I first went to Eastwood City, and I met, yes. I met Andrew Tan, right, who, yeah. I have, who I have a lot of respect for, amazing guy. I was in a car with him driving through Eastwood City. It's about 13 years ago. And I said to him, Andrew, all these apartments are empty. He looked at me with a smile. He said, yes, but they're all sold. What? Because they have overseas sales offices. Yeah. Wherever you go, I mean, the olden days, Mega World, you're one of your competitors. Yes. They have overseas sales offices. And what a lot of Filipinos, they want to own a property. I want to make sure that it's taken care of. So let's say if I'm an OFW and I haven't got a wife, and I want somebody to take care of my house, and it has a garden, yeah. right? Can you offer facilities for that garden to be taken care of whilst I'm away on my ship? Yes, of Can course. you organize that? Yes. That's important because yeah. a lot of Filipinos want a home here mm -hmm. to go to occasionally or in a lifetime. Also the Balak Bayans, when yeah. they come, they want to buy. They don't necessarily want to live here, but they want, they want the option for their family to come here and stay, not only in an apartment, which is what Mega World we're looking at, but also houses, like your houses, yes. right? Providing it's, you have a service that maintains that and it's secure, no robberies, no break-ins, yeah. then they will buy those houses too. That's a huge market. Yes. Have you looked at that overseas market? Have you looked at how to connect to that, say, California, Philip, uh, Balik Bayan in California? Italy is 250,000 Filipinos. The UK has oh, 150,000 Filipinos. Most of them there are working in either uh, hospitals as caregivers, nurses, but also in the maritime industry because there's a lot of shipping companies there that are moving around. And basically the Filipino is everywhere, I yeah. found out, right? But to buy a house of four and a half, say five million peso, you need to have a, a salary probably of around 150,000 peso to be able to make the monthly repayment on that. I'm guessing, right? Am yes. I that right? Yeah, it's right. That's why we are um, really targeting the seafarers mm -hmm. and some of the OFWs to mm -hmm. uh, have their investment with us. And engineers, of course. Yes. Right? And also, I guess there's also a market within your area, professional market, where people who have become shop owners, who've yeah. done very well, mm -hmm. and they want to invest, they want to, their family to live in a nice house. Maybe they have five or six bakeries, for example, or they have maybe three restaurants. Mm -hmm. Those people also need nice housing and safe yeah. housing. So there is a market there too, right? Yes, of course. Okay, so you're having, are your customers like that as well? You yes, mixture? yes, we have so uh, you customers have, like that too. So you have mixed... Yeah. clients. You have OFWs, maritime, whatever, and you also have the business people, local business people. Yeah, entrepreneurs in the Philippines. Oh, that's very good. So how are you trying to address those people? How are you trying to get hold of the local business people? Do you have open houses? We actually have um, open houses every Saturdays and Sundays or whenever they wanted to go to our um, model houses. All mm -hmm. they have to do is just contact us in 551-8888. 551-8888. Yes. That's a great number. Yeah, or they can email me at uh, marketing at ddcland.com. So marketing at ddcland.com? Yes, sir. Or 551-8888. Wonderful. Now... <coughs> Who is your most serious competitor? Who do you really take seriously? Who are you, I wouldn't say afraid of, because you're not afraid of anybody, but who do you see competing actively against you in the marketplace that you're in? Actually, we don't see anybody because we are just uh, focusing on our own growth. Mm -hmm. We build homes for the people with quality and durability. So you're like a boutique market, I call it. Yes, sir. You're like a boutique hotel, which is yeah. like a small but high quality, yes. high class. Yeah. And you don't, you don't have to worry about the Marriott hotels and the Hyatt hotels because you're in a class of your own. Yeah, we okay. have our own. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people will like that. 
A lot of people do not like dealing with the big companies, no matter how good they may be, right? They don't like that. They like the small family type support site. And also, you've been going for 25 years. Yes, sir. Therefore, they're not scared of you going under, and you're growing very quickly. So that's a good thing to do. So the new projects that you have is one is in Tagaytay. Yeah, we have. Um, we will be developing Tagaytay like for the next years. And BF Homes, right? Yes. BF, how many houses will there be in BF Homes? Do you know? Around uh, 10 to 15 houses. Okay, so that's uh, small. Yeah. That's very small. But every time there's an opportunity to, to bring your boutique environment, yeah. you look for a nice piece of land where you can build that same boutique environment. 10 to 15 is really quite small, but yeah. I would say Tagaita, how many houses was Tagaita going to be when you're ready? You're not quite ready yet. Yeah, we're, not, we, we're just um, still focusing on the designs and everything, but not yet. With They're the also numbers. building a new s mega city in Clark. It's going to be the second only to Manila, bigger than Davao, bigger than Cebu City over the next 15 years. I guess when the opportunity arises, you'll look at that area too, I'm sure. Yes, for sure. That's good. So you've been with um, DDC Land only for a short time, right? Yeah. That's okay. But you've learned a lot in a short time, right? It's a family type company, yes. friendly company. A family oriented family, actually. That's very good. And you're not scared of the big bad boys, the big guys you're up against, yeah. right? <laughs> That's very good. Um, <clears throat> where is the housing market moving next? What's the next? What do you see the housing market doing in the 21st century, 22nd century? Anything new? Anything spectacularly new? No? No. That's All right. So just leave it at that. We'll see. I think uh, the housing, I think what's important is what all of you are trying to do, which is um, the community, making an ideal living community. That's very, very important. We'd like to thank you, Danica, yes, for joining sir. the show yes, and to highlighting on what's, why it's so important to have building an, an ideal an ideal housing community, an affordable ideal housing community. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Anna Rose for joining us at the show. And I'd like to say thank you to the audience for watching. This, is a, this was a program about housing, affordable ideal housing community, what the Filipino is looking for in an ideal housing community. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you and good night. You are what you watch.